We're going to be using Spreadsheet.com to collect files from a client, but we'll be doing it all from one app. We will never leave the spreadsheet. But before we do this, let's jump back one step and we'll look at a more traditional spreadsheet. So I have similar items listed here and it's requesting that you upload the document, right? So if I've shared this with someone else, they come in, they grab this PDF file just called contract and they want to upload it to this spreadsheet. If I do this and I let go, your browser gets confused, just shows a PDF in a new window, completely disconnected from the spreadsheet where it was requested. So if I go back, it's not here. So the user that you're requesting this from would have to email it to you or upload it to a file sharing service. Either one of those options disconnects the file from this workflow and you can't collect them all in one place. All right, so we're gonna solve this problem using spreadsheet.com and I'll show you what I mean right now. So we'll be using this pre-made template called the Fundraising Due Diligence Checklist. It's one of hundreds of templates that are available, but I haven't done anything to it. Now let's talk about how this upload is enabled. So if we come up to the header row, so that's indicated here on the left with this icon to the left of the seven, and use this drop down, we'll say edit data type, you can tell that the type is attachment. All right, so that makes all of these cells in this column able to receive attachments. And if I made it strict, it could only receive attachments. So you couldn't type anything into the cells. You may wanna do that. This is unchecked just to allow for more flexibility. And we'll just change the size of the icons for fun. We'll click update and there we go. Bigger thumbnails. And we'll go back to the settings. Edit data type again. We'll make them small for now, just because there are a lot in this list and we'll click update. All right, so we'll come back in here, we'll get started. So they're asking for a list of the company's trademarks, right? And we'll say that this PDF here is a contract it has to do with trademarks, right? So because I've made this cell D17, the active cell by left clicking on it, I'll do another one just so you see what I mean. We'll come back down, make it active. It's telling you to drag the files here. So you could use a paper clip. We'll do that in a second, but for now we'll do this the most intuitive way. We'll just come over to the desktop, click on this file, let go, and it uploads it. Now, if you were the other user and you wanted to come back in and download this, there are a couple different ways, but if you just click on it, you get a preview and you left click on the download symbol and you can choose where to save it on your computer. We'll close this out. All right, now we'll do the next one and we'll do it a slightly different way to show you the flexibility here. If I click in D15 to make this the active cell, still says drag files here, but let's use the paperclip and that'll show you that you can upload it from different file sharing services. So this is connected to Google Drive if you want to use that, but we'll just grab this last one off of my device again. And this time we'll pull up an Excel document, click on that and upload one file. You can upload multiple files at one time. So if you clicked on add more, you could do it there. But let's just close this out for now and you'll see the Excel file. All right, so act like I'm another user. We'll come in, left click on this file. And if we download it and like what we see, we can change this drop down from in progress to completed. And if you want to try this yourself, you can check it out at spreadsheet.com.